Hello, and welcome to this course on Python programming called Introduction to Python Programming. My name is Mike McMillan, and I'm going to be your instructor for the course. To tell you a little bit about myself, I've been a college instructor of computer science for the past 13 years. I've taught courses in programming languages such as C++, Java, Visual Basic, JavaScript, C Sharp, PHP, and Python. I've been a programmer, though, for the past 23 years and have worked in industry off and on since 1981. In this course, we're going to cover the basics of Python programming for a person who has no experience at all in programming. So to give you an idea of the topics we're going to be covering in the course, I'm just going to list them out for you right here. We'll be talking about how to install Python. We'll write our very first program, our Hello World program, as a way of introducing you to the basics of entering a program and getting it to run. Next, we'll talk about the different data types and how to create variables in Python. Next, we'll talk about Python input and output. Next, we'll be talking about how to get our programs to make decisions, and that's how to create if statements. Next up, we'll learn how to perform repetition in our Python programs, and that topic is while loops. Staying on the topic of repetition, we'll talk about the next loop type, which is for loops. Then we'll talk about a little more advanced topic that is key to performing a lot of repetition in Python, and that's the concept of the iterator. Next, we'll talk about working with what are called list comprehensions. After list comprehensions, we'll be talking about how to create and use functions in our Python program. Following functions, we'll talk a little bit about variable scope and how variables are perceived in our Python program. Next, we'll talk about how to create modules and how to use the built-in modules that come with the Python language. After that, we'll talk about the basics of creating objects and object-oriented programming. Following the basics of object-oriented programming, we'll talk about one advanced object-oriented programming topic, and that's inheritance, or reusing class definitions and other class definitions. Then we'll talk about exception handling and how to handle exceptions or errors in our Python programs. Finally, to wrap up the course, we'll have a little chapter on using data structures. And these data structures include lists, tuples, and dictionaries. I believe the topics that we cover in this course will give you a good beginning foundation to becoming a competent and even expert Python programmer. Once you finish this course, I'd encourage you to look at another course that I've created for infinite skills called Web Programming with Python. In it, you'll learn how to use Python to do lots of different types of web programming, from screen scraping to creating your own web applications platforms using a system called Django. But web programming is a completely other topic, and here we're talking about just introductory Python programming. So without further ado, I encourage you to move on to the first chapter of the course where we talk about how to install Python on your computer system.